Now that Lisa has published and exhibited her series on Uyghur shrines, find out what subject she will turn her lens to next. She shares some advice for budding photographers, stressing the importance of originality. And if you are anything like Lisa, a smile and a map could get you further than you would ever imagine. She's just an incredible human being and, and photographer. Um, I don't know what to say, we're pretty lucky. <laughs> Mostly it's not her photography work. I think it's really her special personality. Um, I've learned so much from her just about her being kind to other people, talking to other people, and like, you know, engaging in conversations with other people that, you know, I might not have. But she's someone who's always so outgoing and so ready to learn about other people and learn about the world. And I've learned so much from her about that. What do you hope to say to people through your photographs? What I hope that my photographs do is I am in the world and I have this experience, a particular experience, and I'm so moved by that experience that I think, is there a way that I can make an image that will not only show the experience, but have an emotional, give somebody an emotional experience the way I had it? What is the next step for you? You spoke about perhaps returning to teaching. Is that something you want to do in the future? I'm, I'm teaching right now, um, but the next step for me, this body of work was sort of like a launching pad for me as an artist to really, you know, to have a book published and to have a museum exhibition. And in a sense, recognition allows you to do more of what you want. So I hope that I can use this uh, experience as a reference to keep making work. Do you hope to continue photographing deserts or will you be evolving as an artist and photographing other subjects? I think other subjects. Yeah, I think other subjects. I mean, I'm really interested in the work that I did in Azerbaijan. I'm really interested in a lot of things, but uh, the relationship that the living have with the dead. Because, I mean, I think as humans, like, our biggest question is what happens? I mean, everybody wants to know. Some people believe that we spend our lives trying not to die. You know, we spend our lives, like, in fear of death. And so I think the question between um, the living and the dead and how different cultures deal with that I'm not interested in it so much in a literal way, but in a metaphoric way. Looking yeah. back at your career as an artist, how has the arc of your professional career and artistic career changed over time? I think in relationship to my life, it's been a really wonderful evolution. And as long as I keep making work, then I don't know, it's great. What would you yeah. say to a young aspiring photographer as advice? To follow their heart. Uh, to not, not believe that you can't do anything. Um, when I went to Western China, everybody said, don't go. Uh, but I followed my intuition. Walk through fear, even if you're afraid, do it anyhow. Look, look at the work that you love and get closer to what it is that you love about it and then find a way. If you have to emulate it, at some point you have to stop emulating and find your own vision. I think often people just keep making work that they've seen before and I think something that was really important to me and continues to be is not to make a photograph that I've seen before. If you were impressed by her, I'd like to say that as a parent I'm 10 times more impressed, however impressed you are. I mean, and to feel that way about your child is really pretty terrific. I feel that way about my whole family. I'm really very, very fortunate. But Lisa is amazing.